Hey guys, I'm Quirk Turtle, back with another Ember Knights video. I know it's been a little bit, but uh, yeah, I took a little hiatus away from Ember Knights. I was playing some other games and just not recording them. So, anyways, we're back with Ember Knights, at least. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to start off with the banger. So, first things first, Ember Tree, right? We're going to go with Earned Vitality. It's just the best one, honestly. The others are pretty weak. I mean, you can argue with thick skin, but Earned Vitality is arguably better. Then Giant Slayer, then Pocket Change, Ellen Confidence, Guardian Angel, Relic Dice, Skill Dice, Refinery, Expansion, and Bonus Relic. That's it. That's it for the Ember Tree. We will be using 323 weapon mods. You know, it is just the best for staff, which is Magic Orbs, Focus, and Better Points, with Arcane Mastery, the ultimate upgrade. And we are going to be taking in some relics. Now, we're going to be using a really good build to start with, but it will be a skill build as well. But a lot of people ask me, how do I get the relics for free, or how do I have all the relics in one roll? And the thing is, I don't. I roll before I start recording, because it can take a long time, and I want to save you guys, you know, as much time as possible. So I re-roll before, like you can see, these three relics are just sitting on the ground. So I roll and buy them, and they pop out onto the ground. Just like this, right? Um, and yeah, that, that is the build that I'm going with. It's right there, which is Super Ambition, Onyx Raven, Cade Scepter. And you know, before we pick up Arcane Bolts, we're going to do a quick little tri uh, trick that I learned um, a while ago, that is, with Deep Knowledge. So I know I've probably said this a few times, but if you turn on Deep Knowledge and then pick up a skill in the Nexus, that will count as your first skill pickup, and thus it'll give you an extra charge. Because uh, Arcane Bolts usually only has three charges, but now has four since I picked up Deep Knowledge. And I can swap off of Deep Knowledge now, and that charge will stay with Arcane Bolts. So, pretty crazy, all in all. And let's just quickly deactivate everything, because I want to put it back to my default. Which will be Doom 16, which is, in other words, four haste. Four onslaughts, one doused, and five blitz. All right, so I don't really have a plan for this video, other than obviously beat the run and scale skill damage. Like that's my only plan, really. Um, yeah, we'll we'll just see where things go. Expanding Circle. This is a really interesting upgrade, but it's not good at all. Also, damage is always fine here. We should have taken Chakram, though, but getting damage early um, can help us snowball. So, I don't know. I don't know what's better. Wow, we found Brittle Scepter. Okay, Brittle Scepter will probably carry us, depending on what we get next. Also, Search Pendant is just fine. We'll take that. Also, I'm thinking about getting back into speedrunning Ember Knights, so let me know if you guys want to see me speedrun. Because I am so down to get back into speedrunning, now that it's a new version as well. So, directly there should be new categories up on speedrun.com, which means um, you could be could be a contender to get, like, top three on speedrun.com. Definitely not just because there's nobody speedrunning currently. <laughs> But, um, yeah, a lot of people just want competition, right? So the more people that start to speedrun, the better it is for the community. Which is, you know, always nice. Always nice to have a little friendly competition. Alright, who'd we get here? We got Guzzle. Interesting. And not that interesting. They kind of just perish. Wow, some really trash relic. Uh, roll once more. Eh, I mean, seeing band ain't bad, it's just like, I'm not gonna get hit, so it doesn't matter. Roll once more. Yikes. I guess Scar Scepter ain't that bad. We 
we're on skill selector because obviously we can get skill upgrades in A1 currently. So what's the point in skipping it, going to gold, and you can just get another skill upgrade? Like yeah, now I have the ultimate. I have an ultimate upgrade before uh, first boss. Like that's that shouldn't be allowed, honestly. It's just such a big power spike. I really liked it when upgrades were delayed. I totally understand why people didn't like it, but as a long-term player, a veteran, um, I really liked it. It, it made the game fresh. And I don't really want to re-spark that entire conversation or controversy, so. I'm just going to leave it there. Alright, come on, Drixa. Just, uh, just hurry it up here. Wow. We almost one cycled, but that damage reduction kind of just uh, clutched up for it. Oh, easy dub. Easy first area clear. Not going too fast, but uh, it is fast enough, I would say. Also, let me know if there's any games that you guys want to see me play, because I'm always down to play new games, and I do have a couple of games on the go right now, other than Ember Knights now, but I don't know if you guys would enjoy watching that content or not, it's not, uh, it's not roguelikes, so, I don't know. Hey, I also got Ember Ward that I gotta continue playing. It's an early access on Steam well. Uh, I just haven't got back around to playing it again. After I beat Heroic difficulty on it, and I just stopped playing it. You know, there's still two more characters, multiple different flames, and yeah, I don't know. I should really play Ember Ward again. It was, uh, it was a really fun time. Dice? Sure, we'll take dice. You know, dice got nerfed to oblivion. We'll still, we'll still take it. We'll, uh, we'll make dice good again. Maybe. I don't know. It seems pretty hard to make dice good again. I'm not gonna lie. Because dice is either gonna be really strong or really useless. I don't think there's really an in-between for it, as sad as that is. I also am not going to roll, I'm just going to leave. There's like nothing good in that shop, and re-rolling that shop was not going to give me anything better. Oh, free roll. Okay, there we go. We got Arlen's Lucky Dice upgrade one. Time to actually try, try it out and see how it feels again. I mean, maybe this cap makes it really balanced makes it beneficial. I don't know. I, I don't usually like caps on things because then it limits your ability to, you know, do things. But 
Maybe this limit is actually good for Earthless Lucky Dice, the tier 1 upgrade. Limiting the amount of food and gems you can conjure per room. It might actually be very beneficial. And it might not have as much of a downside as you think it does. So the only reason why it was stupid OP was because you could pair it with a whole bunch of other people. Like if you had a full party and everybody was just spamming dice with that upgrade, you would just constantly be spitting out gems. But that doesn't happen if you're solo, right? So adding a cap kind of just limits the, the co-op ability to uh, infinitely print them. So, I don't think it really affects the solo player very much by changing that. Like this. There's kind of no downside here because I'm not using dice that often. So, might as well take the extra charges. Well, actually, I'm gonna get a relic selector since I don't even have a skill I can upgrade currently. I mean, I could always flop my skills over and then have a skill upgrade, but might as well just do this and look for some relics. I mean, probably some relics that are good. Magic Tome ain't bad, but it ain't good either. Like, these are really bad, I'm not gonna lie. None of those relics are relics I want. Like, I took an Elgar Scepter just because it was, well, something to take. Also, once again, not rolling in that shop. Nothing was good in the shop that I wanted, and just, if I roll, it's going to be really expensive to roll, and I'm not really trying to spend all my gold on garbage. But I swear I picked this gem. Alright, which variant did we get? Big Yule? And I like Big Yule. I mean, he's not like that bad. He's just annoying. White's room, uh oh. No, I'm kidding. White's rooms aren't that bad. If you just understand how the whites like come across the room, it's not bad at all. I will be making. Hmm. Alright, seven mimics. Let's go. That's one mimic. Two mimic. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. Is that seven? I just wanted to open enough and get enough mimics out so we could uh, clear it. I didn't want to, you know, greed for opening a whole bunch more chests or anything. Um, search skill box is good here. Also, before I enter that skill select here, I'm gonna swap over my skills so I can actually upgrade Arlen's Lucky Dice. Wow, and we got the upgrade that I was looking for. Tier 3. Okay, wait, we could, we could cook with this. We could really cook with this. Maybe we run dice first a bit. Maybe that's what we do. The thing is, I can always swap to Arlen's, or to Arcane Bolts, like halfway through. Like I can just go to my inventory and flip-flop them again. So, yeah, there's that.
Oh yeah. Pretty sure he died to burn, but I don't know. Wasn't really paying attention. He kind of just like died. I think it is safe to say that uh, Arlen's dice is still good. Now it's not like stupid broken. Can't do infinities with it, but it's still good. It's still really good. We're going to keep upgrading crit chance, and I'm going to keep hoping that it does something. Also, we're going to swap back to uh, Arcane Bolt as the main, the main skill, because I don't think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Bolt... Or, man, can I speak ever? Uh, I'm pretty sure... Arlen's dice, it's not going to carry. Also, wow, we got Chakram. I mean, we don't need any of these, sadly. If there was Relic Refiner, I would have been happy. Just not. Wow, okay, we have Parasite. Well, well, we just lost a whole bunch of gold to that, but I think it was worth it. It was expensive, but also uh, a lot of damage on consecutive hits to an enemy. Powered Bangle? I mean, that's more damage on the first hit to an enemy, I guess. Well, we didn't get clean up here, so that's positive. You know, clean up here is probably the easiest one. Wow. How much damage were those meteors doing? That seems like so much damage. Also, 500 gold at our refinement shop. Our things are costing 150. I think we just upgraded the powered bangle to the max. And also, search fund. I think those two are the two things we were supposed to max out. So, those are the two things I did max out. Probably the other side is healing fountain. Yeah. Ash reward. Shouldn't be too hard. Double shocker. Yeah, we're fine. I have so crazy damage right now. My bolts are dealing 300 damage a piece. Or something's dealing 350 damage. I don't know what it is, but something's doing it. That was a quite fast fight, I would say. It wasn't exactly seven seconds, but that was quite fast. Like, I'm pretty sure seven second fight here is the best as he can make it without, like, absolutely one tapping him. Oh, eight minutes on the dot after four areas. Wow. That is, that is something. Also, somebody asked me why I don't go to the rooms with the bonus gems. Because, you know, if you do a bonus gem room, then another room will get bonus gems. And honestly, it just comes down to the fact 
that I don't really want to do all the rooms. So instead of doing all the rooms to ensure that I get more gems of the stat that I want, I'll just go to the stat that I want first, since I have Refinery as an Ember Tree upgrade, which means I will double any uh, stat gem, or the first stat gem I find in each world. So that was the first stat gem, right? So I doubled skill damage, which is vital to the build. And then I'll go over here to movement speed, and it won't get doubled, but at least I'll have those two gems, instead of taking gems that I might not really want. Just to, you know, go to the bonus gem rooms. Like, I, I fully understand doing it in order, if you want every single room. But I, I just don't want to enter every room. I'm only doing enough to get to the next area. Uh, refinement, no. Let's go with stat selector. I don't think we're going to be able to upgrade anything if we go to refinement. That's why I don't really want to go there. Also, I'm like one tapping these bosses. They're not bosses, but like mini bosses. Wait, I'm almost at 1000% skill damage. Wait, that's insane. How do I get so much skill? Where's all that skill damage? I mean, okay, I got a lot from the stat gem. So that's, that's a big majority of it. Just stat gem. We'll go refinement now. Obviously, we didn't gain any more gold, but we're only going to be able to upgrade, yeah, one thing. So, it's not like, it's not crazy. It doesn't really change the build or uh, boost our strength. Anyway, I'm um, just gonna go skill sector because we don't need the healing, and skill sector rooms could be a single room, and usually single rooms are faster. Which yeah, like look at this single room one tap all of the champions and all the enemies and then it's over by one tap i didn't actually mean one tap i meant like one burst one skill card and skill cast anyways now we completed three rooms and we can get to the final area which is the boss fight right like here we go Wow. Uh, that's some damage right there, that's for sure. Three arcane bolt charges, and the boss is gone. That is, uh, that really is truly really something. Alrighty, we get the final phase, the final boss fight, we ain't gonna leave, we're just gonna end things, we're gonna end the end of all things entity. Yep, that's it. That's all. <laughs> Man, this build is so strong and I didn't even like, I didn't really hit that much. To be honest like this build could be so much stronger obviously i can't say we didn't hit a lot because we still hit a lot of uh, skill damage gems throughout the run and that scaled us you know much higher in skill damage but realistically we didn't find that many relics that would have boosted our skill damage except for that one or the 
I guess two. Armor Scythe and Search Pendant. Yeah, let's take a quick peek. So obviously we only did one loop. Uh, perfect room chain, 62. Wow, wait, that's actually really high, I feel like. I feel like that's almost my record. I don't know. I don't even know what my record is. Anyways, we finished with a time of 9.51. Not bad at all. Doom 16. is isn't, you know, it's basically just Doom 15, to be honest. Uh, let's, yeah, take a peek at the relics. Yeah, Supreme Ambition gave us 369% skill damage. Then we gained 275% from just stats or stat gems, and Surge Pendant, after I used the skill, I would gain 225% skill damage for 8 seconds. So, yeah, overall we're pretty, pretty close to over a thousand constantly. thousand percent skill damage, that is, constantly. Wow. And then Harvest Scythe, yeah, Harvest Scythe, just, it's a flat multiplier to your skill damage. It's actually so crazy. It should not be allowed to do that. Um, yeah, Arcane Bolts, we got the damage up upgrade, and then the tier 1 upgrade, which turns your Arcane Bolts into Ghosts that seek, which is pretty nice, on the ultimate, yeah. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any video ideas, and by video ideas, I mean any build ideas, or any challenges, or anything like that and let me know if you have any questions about anything i'm always down to answer questions and help people learn about the game so yeah that's pretty much where i'll leave this video so i'll catch you guys in the next one have a good rest of your day or night or whenever you're viewing this and i'll catch you guys in the next one